Hello everyone. Welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to see how we can get all the blob storage files in our uh, .NET application. In the previous video, where what we did, we created the storage account and then we created the container. There we uploaded a couple of the files. And then what we did, we uh, created a cognitive search or um, I will say like AI um, services we have used and in that we have did the indexes with that and we have connected or that we have integrated that cognitive search with the blob storage so all those things we did in the uh, azure portal so if you didn't see that i recommend please watch previous video of this tutorial series now in this video we will see everything with the dotnet application so with the cognitive search like all these things they give the facility like we can perform all those operations with the .NET using the SDK. Like if we can install the SDK from the NuGet package manager and we can perform the required operation. So in this video, we will see how we see all the storage files uh, in our like .NET Core application um, with the SDK. So for that one, let's go to the .NET application. Here you will see I have already created a one application called .NET Office Azure app and here what I did I created a one service folder the inside this service folder what we will do, uh, do we are going to create the interface and our uh, like service class there we will write all the logic and inside this page is like the operation which we are going to perform here we will add those pages now if you want to use all those things with the angular or any other client application you can choose the ASP.NET Core app, API application and here you can create the API and then those API you can use either in the Angular, React or any other client application. Since here I am using the ASP.NET uh, Core web application so I can see my CSS HTML pages here. So I'm going to uh, do all the operation with this ASP.NET Core web application. Now to perform all this operation, first what we have to do, we have to do the configuration with the in this application. But before that, we have to install a couple of the SDK files. So to install those SDK files, like you have to go on the dependency and then you get package manager and you have to search those packages called Azure Identity and Azure now, storage blob. So this Azure storage blob is basically to if you want to do any perform any operation with the blob files like deleting, uh, downloading or getting all the data, we have to use all these things. And these Azure identity is basically to perform all those operations which we are going to perform in future videos. Same goes for Azure search document. So the required packages you have to install from the NuGet package manager. So that is the first thing like you have to install the SDKs next in the app setting.json in this app setting.json file you will see i have created one tag in this that is the stories and i have given the account name so this is our stories account name so how you can see is basically if you will go this is our stories account name this is the thing or you can uh, see all these things inside the configuration so in this configuration like you will see all those stuffs which we are having sorry not under the configuration you have to go on the access key so here you can see the access key what is the storage account is the same you can copy from here or you can copy from there as well and once you will uh, copy from here you have to put this thing under the storage account next is a container so inside this uh, we have the container and what container name we have given we have given the container name as the file so this is i'm using like i have so this is the container name which we have used here next is the connection string again this connection string uh, you will see like if you will go on the access key first next here you can see there key one key two you can use anything and this is the connection string and this is the key so if you will see this is the connection string you can copy from here and you can put it here so what is the connection string format is basically default default endpoint protocol that is the http then we have to give the account name then this is the account key and even you can use that account key from here like this is the key so you can use and at last it will come like the 
endpoint suffix. So this is the format of the connection string. So once we set up all these three things next, like we have done with the configuration now. Now, now the next thing what we, what we have to do, we have to design our application. To design our application first, what I did, I created a one interface and in this interface I have returned get blog file name and it will return list of string means whatever the files name are there, it will show all the file which is in our blog. Currently we are having only one file. So uh, once we run this application, we should see only one file and that file if you will go on the container and here in the file, you will see Microsoft Azure PDF. So that file we should see there. Now if we will go on the solution, so here we have uh, like uh, I have inherited this interface. Here I have taken two objects, one is the I configuration, another is the I configuration section. So here you will see inside that like under this I configuration uh, section, I am taking the stories. So this is will come this stories value. Like under this, I have taken this tag first. Now with this, uh, the method name is get blob name. With the configuration stories, I am taking all the value like what is the container name and what is the connection string name. So these two value I am taking. That is the first thing. Now next what I am doing, I am creating object of the blob service client. Now this blob service client comes under this azure storage.blob. So I am creating an object of this one passing connection string and then this method has called get blob container client. So all these things you will see here like we are passing that value and based on that it has one method called get blob and then using the for each loop I am just adding all those files. So this is the way what we are doing we are getting all the blob file. Now how we are showing that so in this like what I did I just taken the one table and inside that table using the like this is the TR and using the loop what I am doing I am just looping through this and then I am printing it and the next thing if I will go on the CSS of this file here what I did I am just using that interface uh, here as an dependency induction and based on that and this is the local variable now inside that I am taking the value from the services and here um, based on this we are looping through so this is the logic which we have written to get the data now the next thing to work on this one what we have to do we have to add these uh, so like services whatever we have created we have to add in the program.cs file so this is the way of writing the logic now if i will run this one when i will run this uh, like a project it should show me the files which i have uh, in my container or in the in my blog so currently we have only one file and here you will see i have taken the hyperlink so based on the hyperlink it should show me the data because i have added in the hyperlink because in the coming videos we will see how i can download these file also so you here you can see like uh, this is the one file we, we have only one file that's why we can see one file if i will click on this currently it will not download because that functionality we didn't add so in the coming videos that will see like how i can download those files so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment and if you like this video please share it Thank you.